Hello, welcome back to some more Fire Emblem the Blazing Blade. Uh, support reading. This time we'll be doing Heath and Vader. Last time we did the two Pegasus uh, sisters, so we'll do the two Wyverns this time around, I guess. Uh, and yeah, let's jump right into it with Vader and Heath. Commander! Commander Vader! Heath, you still live. Well, I guess you always were a lucky one. Yes, Commander, we fled to Lucia as you instructed. Hey, Commander, that scar. What this is, nothing. Forgive me, Commander. Had I known that you would trade such a wound for our escape? <laughs> Stop whining, soldier. I received this scar because I was weak, and I was lucky it was my face. Had it been my arm, I wouldn't be able to fight now. Commander. Enough to chat, now we fly. This is very cool of her, because, you know, um, it's as they say, right, like, women's beauty is, or, or like, you know, uh, is usually the first thing they want to uh, look after, I guess. And uh, it's really cool that she just steps over those gender norms in a sense, you know. This won't do, Heath. Good commander. When did all the venom go out of your fighting? I have taught you since you were in swaddling clothes. If you're worried about surviving, you can worry about it after you're dead. Oh, perhaps this army has softened me a little bit. I certainly never thought of my own life under your command. Hmm. Now that you mention it, what happened to the others? What happened to Vader's riders? Hmm. When we escaped from uh, Ben Isaac Lachus Belminade, they all... I see. Oh, Ghana, that's not too bad. Oh, that is too bad. Yes. Commander, what will happen to Burn now? Hmm. The Wyvern Riders are now no different from the regular troops in Burn. At this rate, Burn will eventually. We don't know that yet. Prince Zaphiel is still in Burn. If he gains power, then Burn may yet be reborn. Once again, Burn the Strong. So I guess these two go back, um, you know, we're in Binding Blade to, to that side, I guess. So it's just a temporary truth. Uh, Commander, you're still unhurt. Idiot, how many times do I have to tell you? These enemies are like bugs before Umbriel and I. Uh, uh, yeah. You haven't changed, have you? You're still as strong and as beautiful as when we first met. <laughs> Heath, what will you do after this? Is there somewhere you will go if you survive? As it turned out, I would be neither a knight or burn, uh, nor a mercenary. I do not know. Commander, what will you do? I will go to see the prince. We were saved by the sponge, but the kingdom is not likely to give up. We have to protect the prince. If there is no other way, I will go alone. It is too dangerous. Powerful though you may be to go alone. Yes, I'll probably die. Is that what you mean to say? The prince Zephyr's life is worth the price, and so I'll return to burn no matter what it takes. Then take me with you. What are you saying? I'm going there to die. If that is to be my end, I do not care. I'm your soldier commander. Where you go, so go, so go I. If you stupid, then wyvern feed. See if I care what happens to you. Okay, kind of sweet. Okay, Heath and the Galt. Two very interesting uh, sort of grey zone characters. One a burn rider and the other a Black Fang ex-member. Someone chasing you or something. Me? You're going to tie yourself out staying on guard all the time. You look like a wyvern rider, you a deserter or something. Who are you? Are you a spy from the king? Or are you one of those Black Fang? Hey, relax. Yeah, I'm a Black Fang, but... Gah. Where? Right here. How? Knave. It's alright, it's okay. Let's calm down, okay? I'm Le Gold. I'm a thief, formerly with the Black Fang. I've got no connection to the fellows chasing us, so rest easy. What do you want? Nothing, you just look so wound up. I thought I'd come over and lighten your mood. It's none of your concern. Uh, sorry. Thought I was being friendly, that's all. B rank? Hey. Hmm? Uh, looks like someone's hate me. What a pity. You. Your name's Le Gold or something, right? Oh, so you remembered. Hey, can I ask you something? You look like a wife and writer, but why are you here? You know the answer to that without asking, don't you? I'm a deserter from the Knights of Burn. A deserter? So why'd you desert? Who knows? Maybe the plundering, the wholesale slaughter of innocent people. Those are both part of the deserter's pedigree, are they not? No, not you. Your eyes... Wait, no. Hmm? I... I, I don't know, whatever. Your eyes aren't so corrupt, you have no pride. Oh, you have pride, sorry. Your eyes tell me that you're sure what you do is right. My, um... Hmm? Why are you here? Now, that is a long story, but put simply, I'm like you, I fled from an organization too. Was it the Black Fang? Yep. I'm a fugitive and you're a deserter. Looks like you and I were made for each other. Speak for yourself. Very gay, I'm into it. Okay. Hey, Heath. Looks like you're still alive. Can't complain. Look up. What is that, uh, what is it that you want from me? Hmm. One reason is self-interest. Whether I'm working in this army or I'm dodging Black Fang pursuers. It makes sense to have a wyvern rider close at hand. Few soldiers can match your ferocity on that field. Of course, it does complicate matters that you are pursued. I imagine so. I'm being hunted by my homeland. There's a price on my head. Being close to me isn't like lying in a bed of roses. The same is true of me as well. Many of the Black Fang would see me dead if they could. Look, why don't we help each other out? 
lend a, a hand to dealing with our respective foes. My enemy is the strongest army division on the continent. No matter how you look at it, I'd say you're getting the short end of the stick. Oh, would you agree to do all that for me? Hm. Must be this thing called love, you know. Okay, where are you going? I'm joking, get back here. <laughs> I love how he jumps backwards, it's so funny. Just let it go, alright, come on, I like you. Even on the run, you're true to your principles. You're rec recklessly honest. That's from someone who simply can't do that. Hmm. Friendship between fugitives, what do you say? Yeah, one weird guy. Yeah, okay, that's fun, I like it. Kenton Heath, okay. Lord Heath, yes. I have joined your ranks. I'm from Burn, but don't hold it against me. And you are? Forgive me, I'm Kenton, Knight of Kaelin. Kaelin, you serve a Lord of Lysia? That is correct. Our territory may be small, but our knights are among the bravest. Right, well I can see that just by looking at you. By the way, are they looking for new recruits? I'm sorry. I'm a free agent no longer with Burn. I'm not able to complete my turn of service. Now I'm looking for someone worthy of my service. That is very courageous indeed. The gates of Kaelin are always open. If you are strong, we will gladly take you. Okay. I guess he uh, switches over to being a cavalier. Um, Lord Heath. Forgive my impertinence, but I must ask you something. Why did you have to leave the Knights of Burn? Well, that is impertinent. Forgive me. But as the commander of Kaelin's Knights, it is my duty to test the loyalty of any new recruit to learn about his past. What, you are the commander? You are quite young. Lord Heath, please help me to understand. The Wyvern Riders of Burn are considered to be the strongest knights in the land. Surely, we Lucian Knights would fall to their lances if we met them, met them head on. So why would you leave Burn for Lycia? Burn is not as uh, it once was. A sovereign has imprisoned all those nobles who do not meet his favour. And their fabled power is a feeble Europe. The only real strength of Burn's knights these days is in their boasting. And their generals is good for nothing but wa uh, wagging his tails at the king. Hmm. There was an uprising on our frontier, a rebellion of sorts. The knights were ordered to put it down and kill the rebels. Our commander went to scout out the enemy camp. This uprising was nothing more than a group of unarmed peasants. I see. And I heard the truth from our commander. One of our generals had drummed up fake rebellion to enhance his military career. These people did not want to fight. They ran at the mere sight of us. Then the famous wyvern riders of Burn rained savage death down upon their innocents. Hmm. My unit tried to stop them. We were all condemned to die for our treason. After our general spread the story that we were to be hanged for slaughtering innocent lives, before they could round us up, we decided to turn our coats and run. One of us stayed behind as a decoy, and the rest fled for the border. He, he, has, uh, he has had a rough life as well, hasn't he? After that, we dispersed. All have been killed now except for me. Are you satisfied now? I see, so burn. Burn is nothing to me. I have no love for a country that slaughters its own. Kent, what about your liege? Would you give your life in the Lord's service? Yes. It is a knight's honor to sway his fealty and his life. My happiness is to serve. Okay. A rank. Kent. Heath, it is good to have you with us. It is just as you said. I don't know about the markers of Caitlin, but this Lady Linden is just as you said. Yes, she is. She is wise, kind, beautiful, and strong. She is honorable, and her vassals can never forget the modest kindness with which she treats them all. Well, you may be laying it on a bit thick. But I really do envy you. Finally, I have met a master to whom I can swear my true loyalty. If you wish it, we will fight together under the same command. I have long anticipated that you would join us. Yes, perhaps I shall. I could never imagine that with the Caelan Knights under your command, I would meet the same sorrows I did with Burn. When this battle ends, let us discuss it further. Okay, cool. I like it a lot. Okay, let's take a look at Vader. Uh, Vader Heath, we did Vader, Harkin. We haven't done any of Harkin stuff yet, right? Or Isadora, I don't think. Um, Isadora Huck. Oh, Huckins literally the last one here. Interesting. Okay. Um, alright, well, let's take a look at Vader Harkin. Huh? That cross in your armor, you and Knight. A black riding wyvern on a crimson shield, you must be Lady Vader. I have heard of you from Lord Elliwood. I'm Harkin, a knight of Frey, I'm at your service. What are you saying? Do you walk in your sleep? We are enemies, are you an idiot? Enemies? You seem uninformed, so let me tell you. I fought with your rabble here once before. What? I didn't manage to kill that brat Elliewood then. How about it, Fair Knight? Why not leave Elliewood and join me? You can make sure I don't kill him, eh? You. <laughs> What's that, wanna fight? No. My lord Elliewood has welcomed you to his side, has he not? If that is so, then we are allies. Nah. Uh, what is my lord business? I care for it not one bit. Yeah, Vader really didn't have much of a choice but to join them, so. Ah, oh, we meet again. You disappoint me by your persistent refusal to drop dead. You again. So you fight, those are some fancy moves. Is that how you plan on living through this coming battle? I'm a knight of Frey, I fight in a way, befitting my station. Are you not a proud knight of Burn? <laughs> there you're wrong. I'm no longer a knight. What does that mean? I, dis I disobeyed the king's orders. Everyone in my troop was stripped of rank, stripped of country. 
Well, I'm tired of running. I plan to return home and find like souls will sell ourselves to the highest bidder to do any job. A merry band of vagrants and vandals. You dissipate orders? Or did you do something like that? I don't recall owing you any ex explanations. Just keep your distance. I've no desire to be friends with a tail wagging knight eager for a bone from his master. And watch your tone when you speak with me in the future. Mm. Eric? Lady Vader. You again. Do you never learn? How many times must I tell you I have no real interest? I once belonged to the Black Fang. What? What did you say? In order to avenge Lord Albert and my companions, I would sneak into the enemy camp alone. It was then, once I saw you there, it was outside the base. You were talking to their leader's wife, Sonia. I remember you well. A young, earnest wife and knight talking to that cold-eyed woman. You were watching. <laughs> you have strange tastes. I trust that you found great comedy in our exchange. Me being reprimanded by that woman. No, on that contrary, I was envious of you. How is that? You... You are using Nurgle to help you return to the royal wife and knights. You are willing to use any means that's necessary to return to your master. At that time, I had lost my master and my will to live. Seeing you focus out of mind, it was impressive. Mm. Yet, I do not understand. How could you betray a lord to whom you were so faithful? Can't leave me be. Who swore f uh, felt fealty? Fealty to any king, not I am. The lord to whom I swore was not that plain man grasping the colored tales of power, but a man born with the presence and manner of a king. Should that man take the throne, a change of fortune would surely come to burn. You speak in Prince Zaphiel. The name is not to be spoken of so lightly by a knight of Horea. Now I understand. It's good that we were able to talk. Hmm. Vader. We're both knights of the same heart. Together in this army, we're compatriots. I believe this no matter how you feel about it. <sighs> I care for him not one bit. Truly, not one bit. Okay. Uh, Kala and Vader. Okay. Two women that you get towards the end of the game. Interesting. So you are the famed sword princess, are you not? Hmm. I've heard rumors about you. That you go with fighting uh, Colosseums and claim countless victories. They say that no one can even touch you. So you must be terribly strong. And you are... <laughs> me. Sure, you've heard of... Uh, surely you've heard of the wife and generals of Bern. I'm Vader. Hmm. No, I've never heard of you. What? Was that all you wanted? If so, I have to go. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Uh, wait, this is no joke. How dare you? I said wait. <laughs> okay. Her pride went aloud. Hey, you. Wait up, wait, I said. What is it? What's calling you? Why'd you ignore me? Do you think you can take that attitude with me and walk away with both legs? Well, you're yelling from the skies. It is a little bit hard to hear. Now that you've landed, I can hear you better. Don't toy with me, girl. Why should I have to descend to you? Don't get excited. It's bad for your health. Infuriating, I am Vader, wife and general of Burn. So I heard. Now what do you want? Shut up. I don't have to explain myself to you. I know who you are, and you had never heard of me. It's infuriating. Don't take it too hard. I started this journey to find someone. I haven't bothered to remember anyone else I met along the way. How dare you treat me like this? And the only reason I went to those classrooms was to look for him. Ah, brother. I snap out of it. Come on. This really burns my br brittle. Remember this moment, girl? I will show you my true power. <laughs> Her final form, I guess. Carla, wait up. What is it? What do you think? I'm fighting by your side, just so that you can see how strong I am. So did you get my Eiffel? Uh, Eiffel? Yes. So you understand now? You understand the true power of the wife and generals? Yes, I understand. Good. And you understand why I'm feared and revealed by my enemies. I don't know what this sword princess has got, but compared to me... Look, is that all? I have to go, I'm in a hurry. <sighs> I'm real, we will eat her eyes. You are mocking me. Fine, draw your sword, we'll settle this now. Why? What do you mean, why? I... There's no real need to fight, is there? We are not enemies. What? It is our fate to have met as allies. Why should we, uh, what, sorry, why should we not cooperate on the battlefield? Because as things are, if we do nothing, then we'll never know who is stronger. Was that why, what you're on about? Well, how would I be the weaker? Will that help? I don't care much for fighting anyway. <sighs> you don't even want to fight me. Oh, my land takes the rest in your heart. Alright, then just give me some time. Once all this is over, whether we can fight. Good, and fight we shall. I think we could be good friends. What is with you? You're perhaps the most infuriating person I've ever met. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, we've done Dorcas and Canis, of course. Wallace, Searunk. So you're the one they called Vida. Hmm. Who are you? <sighs> I'm glad you asked. I am Wallace of the Kalen Knights. Kalen, where is that? Che, ignorant woman. Clean out your ears and listen closely. Kalen, the home of our Lord Hosen, is a vital uh, territory in the listening alliances of the noble houses. A uh, pathetic gackle of weak countries. And what does Sir Scrub Knight want with me? Gah, what insolence. I don't know how strong you knights of Burn are, but Wallace cannot keep silent in the face of such insults. Uh, how interesting. Well, I'm ready. Shall we fight here? I am disciplined knight of Kalen. We are not so unruly as to forget our duty for a personal vendetta, no matter how worthy. What are you, chicken? 
No knight of Caelan runs from danger. I show my bravery in battle with the enemy, not with our allies. Listen, wench. Perhaps you would like to show me your prowess in the same way. Um, unless you are afraid, I will show up. That sounds like fun, I guess. I'm getting pretty bored here, anyhow. You'll see a good show today, knight. Okay. Birak. There you are, you bold old fossil. <laughs> Still st uh, smarting from our competition. Bold old fossil, you spitting cobra. Are you trying to make me share in your bitterness at being so soundly defeated the other day? Spitting cobra? I rather like that, but victory was mine the other day. So now which one of us is the biter? You talk madness, woman, by what reckoning do you believe I lost your pathetic display? Surely we are not talking about the same battle. I was perfection unleashed. Those lances' thrusts uh, were blindingly fast, intoxicating in their sublime form. Wishful thinking, Teapot. You were no prize on the battlefield. I saw you poke each unit one by one with your little needle. The whole thing took ages. Well, all I saw was a big lung of grey flesh flitting, uh, flitting about in the sky and belting on occasion. And your wyvern wasn't much better. Oh my god, okay. Well, obviously we have not settled our score at all. Maybe not. Perhaps we need an impartial judge. Someone with an eye for battle. Perhaps yes, my leash. Lady Lindus. Don't talk out of your rear, Wallace. She's far from impartial when it comes to her shiny little teapot. Then who would you pick? One of the other two lords. Wait, the blue-haired husky one is a knight like you. The armor may have rusted his brain. I guess that leaves the morose Elliewood. Is he the fairest judge we can find? Fine, I have no objections. Great, I can't wait to run a few enemies through with my lance and show you what a fool you are. Now let's get Elliewood and settle this once and for all. <laughs> I can't wait. Alright, are they going to settle their battle? In the Nabata Desert, I guess. This won't do at all. How could you and I receive the same score? I wanted the same thing. How could Lord Elliwood not have noticed the quality of my fighting? Infuriating. Lord Elliwood did say that it was difficult to determine the victor in such a short battle. Perhaps if he fought longer, he would have a better idea. Don't be a simpleton, Platterchase. The kid just said that the, uh, that to spare the feelings of the obvious loser. That's why I didn't want to ask him in the first place. Oh, weren't you the one who said we should have asked him to judge in the first place? Shut up, don't bother me with the details. Yet still, like he said, seeing each other fight up close changes one's perspective, doesn't it? I got a good look, and you actually do have some skill with that thing. I take back those things I said about being a hick knight from a weak country. Yes, as you should. And well, I guess your fighting doesn't leave too much to be decided either. But this is far from over. The wyvern riders of burn sit atop the heap of all other forces on the continent. You will see our power soon. I do believe that is my line. By the honourable name of Caelan, we will never fall. Uh, you'll taste the power of our knights like cold steel in your mouth. I'm guessing Vader can only marry Heath in terms of story-based things, because they have the thing of, oh, let's die together, trying to resurrect Burn or whatever. But I'm guessing because everyone else is like a Ferran or a Kaelin or a, you know, Sakaian or something. They don't have that marriage thing with Vader here. Anyways, we're going to do Melanus's here. <sighs> ah, another peaceful day in the life of a transporter. Are you Melanus? Ha! Huh. Why are you screaming, little man? I'm your ally, not your foe. You do understand that, don't you? Of course, Dame Vader. What business do you have with me? I'm your guard today, and I may see you more often in the future as well. But what? Well, don't you look excited? I'm glad to see it. I'm glad of it myself. You make good bait to draw the enemy near. That is very true, Vader. A hundred percent agree with you there. I don't know how well it would work, but it seems like a good ploy to try. <laughs> this is terrifying. These burn soldiers love fighting more than eating. With friends like these, who needs enemies? No, <laughs> ho ho. Okay. Merlinus. Yes. I am here. What is it? The enemies are coming. Hmm? Well, there are a few small fry, but I seek bigger game. I would like a general. Oh, yes, but I'm not sure what I can... Oh, Dame Vader. Perhaps now would be a good time to understand the joy of peace. You boy, my blood merchant. I don't care who it is anymore. I just need someone for my lands practice. Yeah. Okay. Perhaps Dame Knight, I saw the shadow of the enemy in that direction. Really? Yes, and it was a powerful looking unit. Good good eye, Melanus. Leave him to me. <sighs> Finally. Melanus. Okay. You're telling the truth just now, weren't you? Because you should know I'm highly agitated right now if you align to me. Yeah, <laughs> Lord Edward, Lord Hector. She's the demon. How could you have allied us with her? Ooh. Oh, this support conversation's kind of funny. Manus. To Dame Vader. Why don't you try one of these? What is it? It is a roasted dumpling. I do hope you find it palatable. Roasted dumpling. That is food for children. Ah, uh, very well. Give it here. And how's the flavor, my lady? Manus. Y yes. I've never tasted anything like this. Ah, huh, please forgive me. Just spare my life. It's delicious. It's truly a wonderful flavor. Silly man, you're a genius. Uh, all right. I'll be back. And next time you'll have many more of these. Yes, of course. Well, well, she may be uh, mostly demon, but at least she is a little bit woman. 
<laughs> Few ladies can resist my dumplings. I hope this has secured my safety. Melanus. Y yes uh, Thanks to the pastry, take this. But what is this? That's a meatball from my pack. Try it with your wine. My, this does look tasty. Here, let's see. <laughs> hmm? What is this fight? What kind of meat is this? Dunno. You don't know? Ah, I must be off. Now eat up. If you leave any unfinished, I'll take your head off. <laughs> yeah, Dame Vader. Wait. Just tell me what kind of meat this is. Dame Vader. I weirdly ship it. I don't know why. I kind of do, though. I have to admit. Yeah. The uh, cowardly middle-aged man and the very overly confident, borderline arrogant, um, <laughs> middle-aged lady, I guess. Yeah, I kind of ship it. Anyways, we're gonna end things off here for the time being. Um, of course, Hawkeyes is actually rather short. Uh, in fact, it's only just gonna be one, because we've already done the Louise and the Pant ones, obviously. Um, so yeah, we'll do, like, Matthew and Jafar. It will be a, uh, what do you call it? A thief episode, I guess. Actually, yeah, there's... We might even be able to throw in Ninian as well. Yeah, probably. We'll get like four characters in next time, so yeah. Uh, for the time being, I want to end things off here, but hopefully uh, you'll enjoy this, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.